why have you decided that for your business model, which is all about giving cash back rewards when you're purchasing groceries, maybe even your gas, why is it now the time to show your technology solution on the public markets? Thanks for having me. We think it's the perfect time because our mission is make every purchase rewarding. 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 75% are financially insecure. We've given away $1.8 billion to help people make those ends meet. We've also, we've also gotten to a point in our company where we've built out a large network and are beginning to see those network effects. We've had six straight quarters where we've been profitable on an adjusted EBITDA basis, cash flow positive, net income positive. So we feel it's a great time to come to the markets, raise some money, and invest even more in our platform. One of our social media editors, Dia Martino, poses a big picture question for you around extreme couponing. She is a self-confessed Ibotta user. Is that the story you're telling the street, that amid economic difficulty or how consumers behave, extreme couponing's coming back? It's true that there are certain people who we like to think of as professional savers, Ed, on our platform. Our direct-to-consumer app has 50 million registered users. Many of them are proud extreme savers. However, it's also important to note that we power the first ever uh, manufacturer offer cashback program for Walmart, for Dollar General, for Family Dollar, for Kroger. And these are much more everyday purchases occurring from people with a lot broader type of uh, background, not all of whom are shopping to the sale. They're encountering these offers as they're searching for products online, as they're building a basket. And we're able to move markets for the largest brands in the world. So it's a combination. But I do think that in environments that are like this one, inflationary, uh, as well as everyday environments, it's always something that's relevant. You know, people shop for groceries 1.6 times a week. 87% of Americans use at least one coupon a year on their groceries. So it's not a discretionary category and it's relevant in all climates. You took a risk coming to the market at this moment and it looks like it's going to be paying off. Your shares are indicated at 107 to 112 being reported at the moment. You priced at 88. So having marketed below that, there's been real interest in your company. Tell us the m marketing pitch now because you are very integral within a relationship to Walmart. Can you therefore get other big grocery stains on sta practitioners on board. Can you white label for others out there at the moment? Absolutely, Caroline. We've already begun to build a, a network with Walmart at the center. They are strategic investors in Ibotta, but we also have Kroger, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Exxon, Shell, and AppCard, which represents over 300 other grocery retailers, using our network to pull in rewards content on a white label basis. We think that that's going to be a very broad and attractive network, and it's really a network effect business. The more of these publishers sign up, the more we're able to attract advertisers to bring offers in, the more we're able to fulfill our mission on behalf of the end consumer, which is to make every purchase rewarding. Brian, what's the Ibotta AI story? That's right. AI is critical to the future of Ibotta. We are really helping to create a next generation platform for what we call performance marketing, meaning we don't charge for impressions and clicks. We only get paid when our clients sell a product. They want to put the right offer with the right amount in front of the right consumer at the right time. Gone are the days of your grandmother's coupon. This is not a one-size-fits-all solution. The level of sophistication we have is because 45% of our 800 employees are technologists, and we've been doing AI for years, using it to find personalization algorithms, machine learning, and we'll continue to invest in that, Ed.